<clears throat> Excuse me. Well, a great man has passed. Yes, we're talking about uh, Fidel. Um, Fidel Castro of Cuba. Um, I like Cuba. When I say I like Cuba, I mean I actually have been to Cuba and I liked Cuba. <laughs> One day for sure. Just the week, I think it was. Anyway, sorry, I dropped something. Um, and I really liked it. But, uh, there's certain things, I mean, it's just, I just, just liked it. One of the things, that, funny thing, this is they had a museum in, in Havana. Uh, it was a museum, I guess, for, well, it was a Cuban museum, I guess, for a revolution, whatever it is. And uh, the wonderful thing was that uh, Cuban citizens didn't have to pay to go to the museum anytime. Foreigners get to pay. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. And that's what I liked about uh, Fidel Castro. He did things that made perfect sense if he was a learned person, I suppose. Now, remember, uh, the, the most extraordinary thing about anything that's been said about Fidel, I'm not talking about it from, from a, a, a perspective of like, uh, for instance, uh, on the South Africa right now. Well, he did incredible. I mean, you know, that whole thing about going to Angola and, and support, uh, support, you know, supporting Guinea Bissau, you know, Macabal and 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 and, and, uh, and Mozambique and and, and Angola and and, uh, and uh, uh, at the time of Southwest Africa or Namibia. That whole supporting Africans is like amazing to me. I mean, you know. Who would do that? And in fact, he did it um, because they were aligned with the Soviet Union at the time, talking about Cuba and, and, and Soviet Union. And he did it, even not even consulting with Soviet Union. Soviet Union didn't even want it. You know, he wanted, wanted to have him. He said, hey, you know, the Africans, we Africans, whatever he said, you know, was really. But, which is another thing, one of the things he said, I read someplace, I can't remember the exact quote. He says, something will happen when, 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 um, when there's a Latin American Pope and there's a black U.S. president. And both of those things happen. I, don't know, I forgot what the whole quote was, but it was really, really, really good. But I think the most extraordinary thing that I would have to say about uh, about Fidel Castro is that uh, he gave up a life of privilege. Yeah, okay, I know the whole thing. You know, this is his, basically his mother was the was the maid for the father, and you know the whole how about her. Uh, oligarchy goes, you know, one was really, really rich, but he was, he came from a life of privilege. And he gave that up for equality on his, on, on, in, in his land, which is extraordinary. I mean, who gives up anything for equality? Um, yeah, I'm not going to go into the whole initial, everything like that, but I think that was extraordinary. But I was noticing something, um, uh, I, I noticed this a while ago. Uh, Cash was born, I think, is in uh, 1926, yeah, 1926. Uh, lived to ripe old age of 90. But what's more interesting, if you look back, there's something that happened in the air or something like that. People, be, a lot of revolutionary leaders, and he was a revolutionary leader, were born between 19, 1926, well, 1925, and 1935. If you look it up, with all these cats, I'm a cooker, but all those folks I've been talking about, they're all born, there's something this generational thing, there's something about it. But there's another thing uh, that I noticed not only with uh, uh, certain leaders, uh, even certain extraordinary people, there's a couple of things that, that they might have. They might have a, a high IQ as tested by IQ standards, high IQ. And they also are readers, I mean voracious readers. And then the other thing is that a lot of folks have um, they call photographic memories. So it was interesting. He had all that stuff. Plus, you know, he did the whole he got a lot of issues with uh, with, with power, just with, with just with power. You know, a lot of social paths and whatever have you that take power. I'm not calling Fidel any names because I really I really do love and respect Fidel for all these for all these done. So my whole thing about Fidel Castro is that I mean he's a great man no matter what. He, he and look what did he do? You know. Education and medicine. Come on, shelter, education, medicine. That's what we gave. That's what we gave the Cuban people uh, on a more equal basis. Where you won't hear a whole lot of these other folks when they had that whole Ilian Gonzalez thing, you know. And uh, other thing was Gloria Stefan, one of those people. No, she was all man. No, 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 no. Ilian, she was speaking out against. Andy Garcia speaking out against. Tony's totally a celebrity. Uh, but, but but they didn't say it's like Gloria Stefan. Like her father was the driver for Batista, you know, the dictator. So anyway, they, everybody has their little thing, their ins and outs. Uh, but uh, the great man has passed, and uh, we, I'm, I'm glad that uh, you know, I, I, I got to be in Cuba. Didn't meet him, but I got to be in Cuba. And, uh, and, and, and one last thing. Remember, um, 
The first town he went to try to liberate was Santiago de Cuba, which is basically, they won't tell you, but it's African, it's black, it's a black town, you know. And, and most of Cuba is a lot of black folks. The people that you hear about, the white folks, those complaining, man, people, whatever have you, they just trying to do the, you know, the, the Anglo racist white supremacist thing, you know. But some of them got out of it, you know, some of them, meaning you know, revolutionaries got out of it. So that's 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 my thing on, on, on Cuba. I mean, I really, I really respect Fidel. So Fidel, you know, yeah, uh, rest in rest, you know, rest, rest, rest in prosperity. From me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.